So the Call of Duty World at War Map Pack 3, it's due out this August. Uh, it's going to be a lot like the previous map packs we released, so it's going to be three multiplayer maps and a new Nazi zombie level. With our multiplayer maps, the multiplayer DLC in Map Pack 3, we, we kind of took a, we took a real good listen to the community, and a lot of what the community was saying is they don't want so many uh, long-range sniper fests, they don't want short-range SMG fests either, so they wanted bigger maps, medium to larger maps, infantry-based again, which just stick away from the vehicles this time. We wanted to really focus on that combat we knew how to do. And so uh, with the three maps, I think, I think all three of them play perfectly. For starters, Breach. Um, it takes place in, uh, in Berlin. It's going to be Russians versus, versus the Germans. It's a very large map, very wide open, but it is urban. It is there in, uh, in Berlin. There's a lot of little buildings you can go into, a lot of nooks and crannies and hallways you can get up onto. Uh, there's a, a great amount of verticality pretty much on, on either bases. You're always going to have some sort of a building structure or rooftop that you can get on top of and, and look over the, the enemy base. Battery takes place on a fortified island. Uh, out uh, off the coast of some unspecified international waters. It's um, it's not a boat, contrary to, to some popular belief. A lot of people look at it and they're like, are, are we are we on a big ship? No, it's actually an island. This level is is larger than uh, than subpens, but it is probably the smallest one in this map pack. What's really great is is rather than having to assault through the front door or through a hallway or corridor into the structure, uh, you can actually many times climb right up the face of this, this 40 degree angle slanted uh, wall and they climb right in through the windows. So it, it creates almost this infinite infinite point of penetration for the players, uh, which is going to keep the, the team, particularly who's inside the facility, uh, constantly on their toes. The final map is called uh, Revolution. It takes place in this big industrial facility. It's actually a distillery. Um, so you're gonna have lots of, lots of canisters and boiler rooms and, and giant uh, you know, water towers, uh, lots of pipes. What's great about Revolution is you're going to have excellent sniper positions. So one of the intersections in the map, you have uh, you have two different two different rows that you can look down when you're going to be defending your flag. If you're going to be sniping down one road, this side of the street is going to be a flank point that's completely open, and you don't have line of sight to that. So while you have line of sight to one street, your line of sight's broken on the other. So either you, as the sniper, need to keep sort of going back and forth like a sentry and, and keeping an eye on both of them, or you have to have your teammate locking down. Uh, the other street or go and place your beddies or your satchels just in case uh, the enemy tries to flank you.